Good morning. As you can probably tell from the title of this morning video, walk and talk to the studio this morning in Marlborough, prior to boxing sessions, then we have high intensity and devices, all streamed from home. As you can probably tell though, I was unsure which topic to go with this morning. So I've kind of gone for all of them and it's partly because um, yesterday I had a chat which is really, really cool. A really good chat with one of the ladies who has done really well. Um, but over the last week and a half, she feels like, and I use the word feel like, feels like, and that's an analogy, that she's going off plan a bit and she wants to get back on plan. Now, I'm going to talk about that and I'm also going to talk about a little bit, just a little glimpse of menopause, hot flushes really, and PCOS. Okay. And that's because I had a conversation with someone else earlier in the week who was just asking for a bit more information about 28 day kickstart in January. If you want more information on that, let me know. Um, so I was going to cover that. So, 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 Christmas tree. Okay. It's the most. So, firstly, we are going to go in with the conversation I had yesterday, which was all about, she felt, she's done really well. She's, she's loving it. Body shape's changing. But she feels like the last week and a half, things have been busier. She's lost a bit of control. Now, it's been a week and a half. Now she's ready to get back on track. We've got a plan in place to deal with this and be kind to ourselves at the same time. Not, you know, shame ourselves into it. But my point here was that I asked her, how long does it normally take you when you go quote unquote off plan to get back on plan and she said I don't know because I've never been so much on it now I was said well isn't that a good thing isn't that a good thing that you feel like you've achieved something more like the time it's taken you've never really known before so actually you could argue that six months ago and this is what I asked her six months ago if I'd have said you'd have been doing really well but then a week and a half you felt like you were going a little bit like back to your old way you would have done anything for that problem. Is that correct? And it was like, yes, I would have loved to have that problem, but I'd made some really positive changes. And then for a week and a half, I felt like I was going a bit back like I was. What a great problem that actually is. And my point here is as you improve, as you progress in any area, whether that's nutrition, whether that's training, whether that's work, you're gonna, you're gonna get new problems. You're gonna get problems anyway, but the problems are going to be different, maybe new challenges. But the result of that is that the lessons you get from that will help build you on and help boost you to that next level. To help you get through the obstacles that then come up and they're actually more rewarding. They're actually more rewarding. So next time you actually go into that space of I've gone off plan, just remember that. Morning, Marie. Just remember that. Now, on top of this, on top of this, I want you to define what on plan actually means because a lot of people don't actually define what on plan means. So because they don't define what on plan means, that your brain goes straight to, I have to be perfect or I'm off plan. And then the language we use, like I am off plan, then results in us going, okay, I'm off plan, I might as well fail. And then it becomes that on, off, good, bad, all or nothing thing, okay? So define what a good day actually is, what, what that means. Does it have to happen every day for you to be successful? And this is a big thing here. Does it have to happen every day for you to be successful? Chances are, no, because you've probably gone from going, I'm rubbish all the time, I've had seven rubbish days, to going, oh, I've done two good days, now I've had one rubbish day. Well, you're still winning 2-0. You're still winning 2-0 on last week. And that's so important to remember. Sounds really obvious, but, don't forget that. That's an improvement. That's progress. Okay, I hope that helps. Lastly, I just wanted to touch on, because we're doing a QA and a tonight, all about menstrual cycle, menopause, PCOS. I haven't done this in a while. I have a set number of slides that I always give, which were tweaked at a conference, an MNU conference I went to, uh, two years ago, and then recently, it's two years ago now, yeah, 
recently tweaked again as you know things not changed nothing really drastically changed but updating with studies updating with what we know because obviously i have no idea how it actually feels and i'm happy to admit that and i'm glad you know if i walk when i walk into our sessions sometimes i say oh i'm hot i get the look of death from some of the ladies so i get it no i don't get it i understand that's the better word so um but i just wanted to talk about something because i had a chat with one of the ladies on monday who was she was actually inquiring about the program we ended up having a really good conversation all about pcos because i I find that really fascinating ever since I went to the conference I went to two years ago. Like, really fascinating area. And it's linked with diabetes, which has always been my main interest. And, you know, when I was working in NHS and public health, there was a time where I was, people were saying, um, you know, I'll be perfectly honest, this was like 2015 maybe, and the people were going, oh yeah, um, I've also got PCOS. So, and initially I was like, I didn't even know that was anything. Why are you bringing that up to do with diabetes? I didn't even realise that then. But anyway, they haven't really been ever told about this. Now, there's a few things you, you could possibly do, and I'd always speak to GP on this, but something called inositol, myo-inositol, has really good research on with regards to insulin resistance, to help with insulin resistance, so to make you more insulin sensitive amongst other symptoms of PCOS as well. And the more people that are aware of this, the better. As I said, the MNU conference of Martin McDonald two years ago that I went to really brought this to my attention. And, uh, and more and more people working in this industry are just sharing this more because it needs to be, you look at the research, it's, there's no side effects of it. It's perfectly safe. And people are getting great results from it. Now, on to hot flushes now, and this was another one that came up, as I said, in that conversation on Monday, it just ended up a bit of a conversation in the chat. I was like, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, the 28-day kickstart. Um, so, hot flushes. Now, it's a really interesting one, because people, say like uh, in Asia, they tend to have lower or different symptoms than they do in kind of Western world, and some researchers wanted to see this, so is it the soy consumption, is it the fish consumption? It seems to be a bit of a combination there's probably other factors it's never just as simple as that but they did find that soy products did help with it so soy products did, did help with it so if you ever see like certain supplements like that have soy in it now be careful with other medications you take potentially you obviously want to get checked out but um did sh seem to show so this was just with food though this is two soy products a day they used and they showed reduction in hot flushes which is really cool um, other hypotheses, if you like, and studies on maybe like omega-3 because of the amount of oily fish they eat. Often that comes with vitamin E. Morning, Dawn. Often that comes with vitamin E, <coughs> which again is going to help with your skin. Things then like avoiding caffeine, making sure and then you've got sleep hygiene, making sure your room is nice and cool, make sure your other half doesn't put the heating on. That's a funny in the session yesterday. Realised why I couldn't sleep. My husband had the heating on at night. Oh, that didn't go down well. Anyway, I'll leave you with that one. As we are well past my benchmark of Specsavers. I try and be quiet in the build-up walk now. It's still nice though, look. Have a look at that. Such a lovely thing to do, walk in the morning. The difference in how I feel is amazing. Anyway, any questions let me know. We are January kickstart is now open. If you do want more information about our January kickstart, do send me over a message, I'll get you the details. As I said, need to get ready for boxing now. We are ready to rock. Speak soon, take care.